Yeah, so welcome back to the channel guys and in today's video I'm discussing how I got on during the Bridge Events Easter Sprint Duathlon. through my um, my kit what I'm, I'm preparing for my uh, race tomorrow so I always prepare my race the, um, sorry prepare my kit the day before so this is duathlon race I don't have to carry a wetsuit for example so firstly um, my, my bike um, I haven't got the bike here obviously um, the bike um, is all ready to go and um, I, um, I've got a spare pump well pump with the bike um, I pump up the tires so that's my prep for the bike at the moment and um, but that's um, in my um, in, in my summer house uh, so I will move that later so first thing I go through um, so what I, I take to the race I, I'll be taking my um, jacket because it's going to be cold um, and um, it's going to be about five degrees tomorrow morning at, uh, when the race starts at 7.45 in the morning uh, face mask um, and then obviously what I'll be wearing when I go there, I'll be wearing probably um, some compression socks. Um, so uh, so when I'm um, uh, just f so I'm not at, uh, not cold uh, when I'm racing. Um, I've got my uh, my tri suit. I've gone for this tri suit this time. So my yonder tri suit, and um, it's got long sleeves because it can be cold. And then I've got a base layer to put underneath. And then I've got my um, uh, track suit that I will wear over the top of it um, to keep me warm just before I um, before the race. Now um, I always take uh, two, um, I normally take two of everything so just in case something goes wrong. So I've got plastic bags just in case it gets wet so I put over the top of my trainers and then I um, can, uh, or if anything gets wet I can put them in there. I've got um, some, a pin um, which is to uh, make a hole for uh, where to put the number around the band. Um, so that's what I packed first. Um, I've got um, chafing gel uh, because um, uh, it, you do chafe when you're racing, so especially around this area. And then I've um, I, I've got um, some like uh, tools for my bike. Um, not that I'm any good at sorting out my bike. Uh, I've got two two um, inner tubes, spare inner tubes, and um, some more tools for my bike, which I've packed. And then um, you'll see uh, I've got some essential toilet roll always pack the toilet roll you never know you need it and it, then there's never enough anyway and um, i've got another spare inner tube there so and then i've got my bike shoes packed so my bike shoes are ready and packed to go um so that's the first thing so i, I don't carry two pairs of bike shoes though um right so i have towels just in case um i need them so always pack two two towels um so I know quite a few of you have asked what, what I take in a race, so I, do, I don't pack lightly. Um, I've got a spare tri suit, so that's my uh, Triathlon Club tri suit. So I've got that um, in there as well, just in case something goes wrong with the other tri suit. And I, I pack two, two uh, pairs of tri belts. So um, as I said, like, um, I've got the pin, so when I do need to wear two, um, so I can make a pin for, for the race number to go on there. Sorry, a hole with a pin to make the race number go there. I've got um, gloves as well. So I've got my running gloves just because it's going to be cold. So I'm going to be using them on the bike because my hands are going to get cold. And then I've got um, I've got a uh, uh, I've got a buff, um, and that's uh, because my hair's a mess and um, it'll keep the sweat away as well. So I've got that as well. Um, and I take and I take my uh, heart rate monitor to these races. Definitely always take them. So and you'll see that. In here, I've got my heart rate uh, actual monitor. That's the strap I put in there. And I've also got my headphones that I listen to before the race and um, when I'm in um, in the zone as well before. Um, I've got sunglasses as well. So my sunglasses, to, um, I maybe need them on for the run. It's uh, so always packed them anyway. And then um, I've got my, as you can see, I've got three pairs of shoes. So I've, um, I'm going to start with the uh, meta races. Uh, I'm putting tri laces on because I can just um, pull them off quite quickly uh, without um, needing to put them back on. And then I'm going to use 
um, finish off with the Jill Noosa 13s. Um, it'll be the first time I'm actually racing with these for a giraffe. Now, if it was just triathlon, I'd, I'd be just wearing these, but um, I, I, I like to mix up and have two pairs of trainers. Now, I've got an old pair of uh, an old pair of um, trainers, and um, these are uh, just so I wear around and um, to warm up with and stuff. So, so what I do, um, so it's pretty much packed. Uh, pack, um, pack it in here, uh, so that's it. So that, that's it. And obviously, I've got my kit bricks. You can see my kit bricks, but it's not as full as it normally is. Now, when I do traffic, I have a lot more stuff in there. Um, and I've got my helmet, which I carry on. So my helmet's in here, all nicely, um, so well safe, so I don't um, scratch it. And I'm, I've got my recovery drink, I Pro Recovery Drink, which I have um, not during the race, but after the race. And then I've got. Uh, which I shall pack um, tomorrow once I've filled them up. I've got four bottles of water and um, I'll probably get through two of these before I even get to the race. And then um, I'll have one, uh, well, one or two, uh, um, one after the race and I've got one for during the race. So I, I pack a lot of water and as I always say in my, my videos, hydration is really important and key. So that's what I really pack for the race. And um, I'll, um, I'll, I'll let you know how, how the race has gone on and I'll, I'll, I'll go through my race day. Morning guys, so um, it's 5.39 and um, I'll be leaving shortly for the race. I've recently woken up and about to have breakfast. Uh, the race is at um, 7.45 start. So um, just about to, um, yeah, just about to, to have, have breakfast. I'm have four Weetabixes um, and I'll have the water to hydrate and then um, I'll be, off, I'll be ready to go. So we arrived at the event and as you can see um, we're on the first here and it's, I think we've got about 45 minutes before it starts. Um, yeah, going to look forward to it and look forward to enjoying it. It's my mate Pete, um, we train together so um, he's in the uh, longer distance, thank God, because I ain't going to beat him. <laughs> anyway, so, um, yeah, so, yeah, so I'll keep you updated with um, throughout the day, you'll see the, um, how, how we get on. So guys, the race went really well. I've, um, I've come third, so I'm really happy. Um, in regards to how I did, I, I did. Um, I'll, I'll tell you a bit later on when I get home, a bit of a brief, but the run went really well the first run. And the bike, um, I was freezing, but um, I'll talk about it later when I get back. And um, then the following, second one, I was freezing again on my feet and my hands. It took me a while to warm up and get going, but all went well, really happy, third place. And I'll tell you a bit of a debrief when I get back. So guys, you saw the footage, some footage, and um, that's the best I could do, obviously, because I was racing, and um, I hope you enjoyed the insight. So I think I'll do a debrief, and uh, as you can see, I've got a nice uh, medal, or a trophy, sorry, and I'm, I'm quite, well, very happy with it. Um, so giraffon is not a sport that I normally race in, and this is my fourth race that I am, um, fourth giraffon race I've raced in, and um, it, it really helps me to train for my... Um, tri uh, sprint triathlons this year and it was also a benchmark to see um, where I was in my fitness and how my running was and how my um, my uh, cycling had gone over the winter as I worked hard and um, I, I spoke to my coach Mark Shepherd the um, the day before the race and um, we were just going through like, the motions of what I should plan and what bike I should use he always says TT bike and it was the first time I actually used my TT bike uh, this year um, so we, um, we went through and he filled me with loads of confidence uh, and said you've done all the hard work and basically um, so that filled me with confidence in the race and turned up to the race and um, it was really really cold as you can you saw on, on the footage and um, in regards how the race went I think it went really well um, my um, bike time uh, was about um, a cut, uh, 90 seconds between 90 seconds and 2 minutes uh, faster um, than previously um, so that that was really good to see on, on, on quite a technical course I always seem to find that course quite hard and um, with my running my first split was uh, 17 minutes 09 for the first 5k so it was a 5k 20k bike run and 5k run and then it was a um, and then it was a 18 uh, 10 at the end of the, the other split of the 5k. Now, um, the first one felt good. Uh, the leader went past me 
because uh, um, we had to start off in um, twos and he was he started behind me, he went past me and I tried my best to um, hang on to him and I hanged on like as much as I could but I didn't want to uh, ruin my race plan because I didn't want to overcook it and then struggle on the race, uh, sorry the second part of the run. The bike um, it was fine to start off with and I started getting really cold although I was um, wrapped up warm, my fingers started feeling cold and um, uh, but um, again, I was, as I said, mentioned I was quick on the bike than I was previous years. And I came onto the run, I couldn't get my helmet off. Um, it, my fingers were just frozen, my feet were frozen. And then I got onto the run, so I struggled a bit in transition. And then um, when I got onto the run, uh, I, I felt like my um, feet were, um, more of my, my feet were just so cold that I couldn't feel them properly. And I was a bit cautious. So it took me about a mile and a half, roughly about that, to to warm up but um, overall um, I was really pleased with it. Uh, it I did the same race uh, it was, which was my first giraffe from a few years back in the same format and um, I was about um, I'm, I was about two and a half to three minutes quicker this time round so um, that, that's a big improvement but I know a lot of it's come from the bike and my running's improved since then as well and the course was slightly different um, back then, only, only ever society. So um, yeah, I, I'm very happy with it. I came third, I was, I was over the moon with it. Um, I didn't expect to play, so um, I, I was really happy with it. And uh, my friend that was on the video as well, um, Pete, who did the, um, my training buddy as well, who did the longer distance race, actually won his race and um, uh, it did really well as well. So it was quite nice to see um, a, a, a friend win it win the race as well and um, yeah it was, it was a really good race really enjoyed it and it was nice to be racing again it was just um different like different obviously atmosphere but um, it was just nice to be able to to see more people than just like the few people in your household for example but um yeah um that, that's it and my next race is at the end of the month which is whole park uh giraffalon it was originally the uh, Chillum giraffe but they had to change it and um, the location so um, that's still going ahead at the end of the month so that's three weeks away and I'm, and I'm looking forward to it and, and then and from there hopefully um, I'll be all geared up to triathlon so thanks for watching guys have you got any races coming up oh, have you, or have you raced let me know um, drop a comment thanks again for watching <laughs>